Hello everybody and welcome to This Week on Twitch. My name is Zach and this is the only show on YouTube that covers everything from Twitch news to Twitch drama. We do cover it all. There's some exciting things to talk about this week, so make sure you stick to the end. And if you enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, if you do enjoy this kind of content, make sure to come and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ZachBussy. I am live every weekday and we do cover Twitch news in real time. You can interact. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, with that, let's get right into platform news. We start things off this week with platform news, and if you're an affiliate, it's a good time to be an affiliate. Uh, this week we saw the affiliate emote update, which grants affiliates the opportunity to unlock up to five emotes. To date, affiliates have only been able to have one emote for their tier one subscribers, but as of today, they now have two as long as you have 15 subscriber points. That will also increase over the months ahead. In March, it'll increase to three potential emotes with 25 subscriber points. April to four emotes with 35 subscriber points. And in May, the final fifth emote slot will open as long as you have 50 subscriber points. And that's where maybe I should clarify a little bit because I have seen a lot of people wondering if they need to have those subscriber points in those months? The answer, no. As long as you have had that amount of subscriber points at any time during your affiliate career, you will unlock the new emote slots. So if back in September 2018, you had 60 different subscribers to your channel, well, you're in luck because you will unlock all five emotes. So it's not a based on your current subscriber count, but it is based on your total peak subscriber count throughout the history of you as an affiliate. So this is a great change for affiliates. I think it's an exciting day. It's going to mean a lot more people are going to be willing and interested in subscribing to your channel, both to support you as a creator, but also to get access to those sweet, sweet emotes. Now, Partners also got a little bit of a perk here. They have been granted six emotes as soon as they hit partner, regardless of their subscriber count. Now, it's not that big of a change for partners, but you never know what Twitch may be working on in the background. Next up, guys, we have an exciting update to TwitchCon North America, both a location and a date. It'll be September 27th to 29th in San Diego, California, which is almost a month earlier than TwitchCon 2018. Now, I'm gonna make a recommendation to anybody who is watching right now to take a look at Airbnb, to take a look at your hotel in the area if you plan on going, because I know from my personal experience, Airbnb prices are only going up and supply is going down, and that's the same for hotels. So if you are planning on going, make sure you book soon. Next up, I wanted to bring a little bit of attention to an accessibility extension called Closed Captions for Streams. What this is, is a extension for your stream that allows people to actually have closed captionings to your live stream. So if somebody is not able to listen or if somebody is hearing impaired, they'll still be able to understand what is happening on your stream by reading your closed captions. But uh, I will leave a link to that in the description below. I highly recommend people check it out. And our last platform update for the week is something we actually talked about last week as a little bit of a rumor. Apex Legends did officially reveal a Twitch Prime pack that included five Apex packs as well as a skin for Pathfinder. So if you have not claimed that already, make sure you link your account and you'll be able to claim that in game in Apex Legends. And on to the drama for the week and this week was actually relatively quiet all things considered but we do have some bands to report on as well as a little bit of drama. Uh, we started off with Warren TV. He is a partnered streamer with 28,000 followers on the platform. He got banned for 30 days for what he says is a mistake in something that he said that he didn't know what it meant. Uh, I'll play the clip here of him explaining his ban. I was suspended from Twitch for 30 days. The reason I was banned is for hateful speech. Now, the whole thing is a big misunderstanding because what got me banned is saying specky cunt. But the word specky sounded like it was a racist word towards Mexican people or Spanish people, whatever it is. So English is my third language, so it is hard for me sometimes to pronounce words correctly. And I never intended to say it, and I never even knew what the word even meant. So that's his situation. He has evidently appealed it, but Twitch support won't review it on the weekend. So he has to wait until next week to see if he can get his ban reduced or commuted. 
Last week, we told you a little bit more about tools that are available to track down people who had duplicate emotes. And if you take a look at Twitter, there has been a lot of people that have received DMCAs or at least emails saying, hey, please remove your emote. But one that stood out in particular was Mogtime or Mogtime, who tweeted out that he got a 24-hour ban on Twitch for re-uploading his Mogtime Opia emote. Now, that emote is actually a take on the OPOP emote, and so we're assuming that is why, but it is interesting to see that he got a 24-hour ban for that. The last ban that we're going to be covering this week is actually on a small affiliate with 2,000 followers who got banned for seven days for something they said is out of their control. Here's their tweet. I'm banned from Twitch because some idiot who's tried to get me banned multiple times managed to get into my Discord and post a not safe for work picture whilst I was trying to help people register for custom games by showing them my Discord screen and directing them. I feel so helpless. He got a seven day ban for this. Now, the reason why I wanted to cover this is because it's interesting to see the double standard that is applied for bans. Because while I'm not gonna mention their name, there was a streamer just months ago who this exact same situation happened, but they are partnered and as such, she didn't get a ban on the platform. Now, I'm not advocating for a ban for her. In fact, I'm advocating for the opposite. I don't think that uh, this affiliate, Kassen, should get a ban. So I hope he has an opportunity to appeal this with Twitch. Lastly, today, guys, we have to talk about this video of Bad Bunny calling out non-subs as leechers. This video went crazy. Uh, let me just play it for you here to give you the context. Like, how do you think free entertainment is available to you? It's because other people actually provide money so you can be a cheap ass. That's it. Other people provide money because they're they're generous and they they, they see like a thing that they want to support a form of entertainment they want to support and then you leech but don't don't it, that's the reality of it period period if you're watching Twitch as a non-donating non-sub you are leeching does that mean that you should feel bad about it i don't know but the reality is that you are leeching now this video went everywhere for all the wrong reasons and I'm sure she's not thrilled with that fact. If you do a little bit of research into Bad Bunny, you'll actually find out that this is kind of a little bit of a persona that she puts on, similar to Helena Live's persona, who is still banned on the platform, where they you just kind of say things that people don't want to hear and you do so in a way that's probably going to offend. If you go through some of Bad Bunny's clips, you're going to be like, wow, that doesn't seem right to say, but she says it anyway. And also with this clip, if you look at the full context of the clip, she's not actually trying to call out non-subs directly. She's not trying to be such a jerk that this clip makes her sound like, but it still comes off as bad. Uh, ultimately, these kind of clips uh, I live for because they're incredibly entertaining and there's obviously no ban that's going to come from this, so... Uh, good luck to you, Bad Bunny, and keep on doing what you're doing. Now on to our affiliate and new partner feature of the week, and this week we are featuring Marit. She is a Norwegian streamer who just hit partner. Uh, congratulations to her. Definitely check her out, guys. Here's a few clips from her channel. I want to come to Bali. Well, then do the thing. Hi, Josh. How are you doing? Abba, Abba. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. I might get a win. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. The system is rigged. Watch, I'll get broken up by you. And our affiliate feature of the week is none other than Forgiving, who is an Overwatch streamer, also plays Apex, but in Overwatch he truly shines. He is a perennial top 500. I don't know how this guy isn't in Overwatch League already. Anyway, check out some clips from his channel and make sure to go shoot him a follow. Uh, I'll play up ready, ready. Oh, I bomb. I'm gonna push it down on them, dude. I'm gonna go for the right clip. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh. Okay, okay, okay. 
Got the, got the 6K, boys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week. And I'll leave you with the fail of the week. 그거 해. 예능처럼 인간 볼링. 해가지고 밀어가지고.